This is your boy, Nose Gamer, guys. In today's video, we'll be looking at some potential winter upgrades for the Barclays Premier League, guys. We'll be looking at some of these players and what, what their projections are for their upgrades. And we'll also be looking at some investments that I made and that you can possibly still make to get in on, on this great coin-making method, guys. If you are new to the channel, though, hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video to subscribe to the channel, guys. Also, I live stream every day. Twitch.tv slash Nose Gaming. The link is in the description. I Twitch stream around 12 to 1 p.m., uh, Central Time, that's around 6 to 7 p.m. UK time. I stream FIFA on there every day. Also, follow me on Twitter, at Nails Gaming. I have a live group chat on my Twitter um, with a bunch of people in it, so you can get up-to-date tweets, and you can tweet and interact with some other traders. But uh, follow me on Twitter, be a subscriber, and DM me and say you want to uh, be in the Twitter group chat. But shout-out to my boy, Gummy FIFA for uh, the stats. Uh, he put together this, like, uh, presentation of all the BPL Premier League uh, projections, all the BPL Premier League winner upgrade projections, guys. We're going to go through his projections and look, and uh, we're going to pick out uh, a couple of these, and we're going to um, show you my investments for these uh, Premier League upgrades. Uh, if you do like this video, guys, smash that like button, and we'll get another one out tomorrow for the Bundesliga, and we'll do Castle and we'll do all the leagues. If y'all do like this video, let's try to get 45 likes. Share it with your friends, but let's get into the video for today. Um, I'm not going to go through all these. You can pause some of these. You can pause the video and look at all of them if you want to. But I'm going to go over the, the, the first couple uh, players. We have De Gea. He's projected to get a 90. Uh, he, he has a 90 overall card. He's projected to get a 91 upgrade. Kevin DeBerna has an 89. He's projected to get a 90 upgrade. David Silva, that's a big one. He's He has an 87 card, projected to get an 89 rated card. Conte's projected to get a one-point boost in 88. Aspie's projected to get a one-point boost to an 86. Adamendi's projected to get a two-point boost to an 85. I don't know why Murata's on there. We'll skip him. Sterling's projected to get a, a two-point boost from an 82 to an 84. Uh, Fernandinho is projected to get a 80. Uh, he's supposed to go from an 82 to an 84. Salah at 83 to 84. I'm going to uh, respectfully disagree. Um, I think Salah will get at least a two-point upgrade to an 85 or 86. Um, let's see, Sané is projected to get a uh, one-point upgrade to from an 80, let's see, 82 to 83. Gabriel Jesus is also projected to get an upgrade from an 81 to an 82. Ederson's projected to get an upgrade from an 83 to an 84. I actually think he might even get a two-point upgrade. But um, let's get into um, some of these investments, guys. Um, you can go back, like I said, and pause the video and look at all those um all those projections, guys, he's pretty spot on. Gummy FIFA, I'll put his link to his Twitter in uh, the description. He's a pretty accurate guy, really big uh, and a trader slash uh, FIFA community guy. But let's get into my investments, guys. So what I did, guys, was last night during Squad Battle Awards, I invested in a bunch of BPL Premier League um, upgrade upgrade um, informs, and also I invested in a bunch of um, OP, OP or um, kind of really wanted um, informs. So I'm going to show y'all the upgrades that I invested in, potential upgraded players that I invested in, and I'm going to also show you these three overpowered players that I bought. Um, first up is David Silva, guys. He has, like I said, an 87 gold card um, in the BPL. He has a, a cam 88, he has a right forward 89, and he has a cam um, eight, uh, 90 card. And his, his gold card is an 87 rated. He's having a fantastic year. Three informs, guys. Um, he's been playing really, really well for City. And um, he's projected to get a two-point boost, which I completely agree with. I think that he will get a two-point boost, and that will, bu bu that will bump all his informs up two overalls. So his, his 89 will go up. His 88 will go from an a, a 88 to an, a 90. His, his 89 will go from a 90 or 89 to a 91. And his 90 will go from a 90 to a 92. Guys, and this, his card is going to increase so much in the hype, guys. Like, it is absolutely insane. Um, you can pick, I picked this card up last night for, for 90,000 coins, guys. 90,000. My best advice, try to get them for under 100 if you still want to invest in them. If you get them for under 100 on the bid, on the snipe, um, that's a really good investment. As I can see him going up to 130, 140, maybe even a little bit higher. Um, next up is Raheem Sterling, guys. Um, he is, I invested in his 84 M form. He's projected to get a two-point boost, guys. And uh, this would push um, only his first in form up. That is key, guys. His second in form would not go up. Only his first because, it, 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 like, this is what would happen. He would get an 84 gold card. His in form would go from an 84 to an 85, and then he'd still have his 86 normal in form. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't interfere with anything to get a bump. So, guys, do not invest in the second in form. 
Invest in the first inform because that if he gets an upgrade, this will be the card. Um, this will be his only inform that gets boosted unless he gets a four point boost. He would have to get a four point boost, which is no way it's gonna happen. The highest boost you'll get is two to three, maybe. So I would say, guys, um, well, if he did get a, actually he would get a boost if he he got a three point upgrade, but I can't see that happening. There's really no way. I'd say a one or two point boost at the max. Um, next up is Mendy, guys. Inform Um We his gold cards an 83 rated. He's projected to get a two point boost. He has a, a 85 and an 86 over our inform. Um, I you can both invest in both. I invested in his um, I invested in his um, 85 inform for around 42 to 44 thousand last night. He's already up to 50. I'd say if you can get him for under 50, you can still make 10 to 12 thousand coins because I feel like he'll go up to that 60k, 65k mark. Uh, maybe 60k mark somewhere in that price range, but um, he's projected to get a two point upgrade, which would boost his um, 85 inform to an 86 and his 86 inform to an 87, guys. So that would be big. That will cause his card price to rise in the hype. Everyone's hyping this guy up. Everyone's buying his inform because they think he's gonna get an upgrade. Next up is the hero card Sala, guys. Sala is having an amazing year. He has a um. A BPL player of the month card, guys. He's been just scoring goals, 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 assists. He's having a fantastic year. He's an 83 rated on the game, guys. My personal opinion, I think he will get at least a two-point upgrade or maybe even a three. He has an 83 goal card, an 85 hero card, an 86 striker card. Um, he has a one-to-watch card, and he also has a player of the month 88 overall card. I think he will get at least a two-point boost, which would boost his hero card up from an 85 to an 86. And then that would boost his striker card up from an 86 to an 87 and also his one to watch from an 80, 86 to an 87. So, guys, we could potentially be seeing him um, just do some incredible numbers. Like, his inform could, informs could just increase so much because I could see him getting a, up to a three-point boost. I invested in Salah's car, hero car for 160. If you can get it for under 165, I'd say that's a good price because I think he could go up to that 200K range. Um, next up is Fernandinho Inform, guys. Um, he's an 82 rated gold card. And, guys, um, I picked up his 84 Inform for 175,000 coins. And the cheapest on the market now is 200, 190 to 200. Uh, I'd say if you can pick him up for under 190, um, 185, 190, I feel like that's still a good price to pick him up for because, guys, he still he, he, he rises and falls, guys. There's sometimes in the day he's 190, there's sometimes in the day he's 210. So if I feel like if you can get him for 190, he can still you can still make profit because I feel like he could go up to two, 220, 230. So um, that is that is my opinion on him. Next up is Kevin DeBerner. He has a 90, a 91 inform, and a 96 team of the year card. He's supposed to get a one point upgrade, so you could definitely invest in Kevin DeBerner's 90 and 91. To be honest, guys, I feel like that's a big risk because once you start getting to these higher um, price players, it gets it becomes really risky. And I feel like that he will go up. I think he will go up to maybe 600k. But I'm not gonna tell y'all to invest in his card. I'm not gonna suggest it. Now you can if you want to. That is your ch that is your choice to take that risk. I do feel like he could possibly go up to 600k, but I'm not going to suggest you go buy him. I would say buy him if you're gonna buy him. I'd say try to get him under 500k. If you can get him for under 500k, that is a good price. But like I said, I'm not suggesting any of you buy him. And lastly, is Asper Lacoita, guys. Um, he is supposed to get a one point upgrade from an 85 to an 86, which would boost his inform up to an 86 or 87 overall. Sorry. Um, and guys that his inform would just be absolutely insane. And the thing is with his inform right now, I would not invest in it because it's overpriced as it is already. It's like 350 K guys. There's just no way he don't invest your coins in that as for the Koita. There's no way you're going to make a lot of coins on it. You, you might break even because that card is so overly invested. Next up, we invested in Inform Verasco, uh, the, the right back from Atletico Madrid for under 33,000 coins. If you can get him for under 33,000, that's still a good price. I think you still can pick up him up at some times in the day for under 33. Inform Coutinho, we invested in him because, guys, he will never have another Liverpool card. Um, that this is his last Liverpool card for the the whole game, so I feel like his price could go up, and uh, because there's, there's going to be so few of them on the market, and also guys, lastly, we invest in Lozano's inform, 84 overall Lozano. He's the most overpowered player on the game, guys. Everyone uses him. Everyone has him as a super sub. We invested in him for around 30 to 32 thousand coins. If you can pick him up for that price, which you can, and sometimes during the day. 
Um, you can at some times, um, you can snipe them for that price. 30 to 32, you will make good coins. But that's who we invested in, guys. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe to the channel. It's been your boy Nails Gaming. I'm out. Peace.